Okay, this is going to be a video of the abdomen. Frederick loaned us his, his abdomen to use here. So we're going to start off by identifying up here in green, we have the pectoralis major. Deep to that, in light green, let's zoom in, we have the pectoralis minor. Okay, and then in red, we have the external intercostals. And in yellow, we have the internal intercostals. And I'm gonna zoom in here because I want you to see the striations. So if you can see there, the striations go different ways. The external, or there's, there's the internal intercostals, and you can see those striations and how they vary from the external intercostals. So red is external intercostals and yellow is internal intercostals. So the internal intercostals make an A shape if they continue to new, when they connect on the other side, and the external make a V shape. So that's how you can tell the difference between the internal and the external intercostal muscles. Good information, Chloe. All right, let's see. Next, we're gonna go over here to the orange, and we have what's called the serratus anterior. And if you look at these, they look serrated, kind of like a serrated knife. So all those would be your serratus anterior. Okay, and then down here in blue, we have the rectus abdominis, which gives you your six pack. And yes, everybody has a six pack, even if you can't tell, everybody has one. And then over here in red, we have the external oblique. Okay, so when we zoom in here, you can see the internal oblique. It's really hard to see, but you can see three different linings there. The outermost would have been the external oblique. Then inner, where the pink is, we have internal oblique. And then even more deep to that, we would have this muscle that wraps around. And I'm going to zoom out so you can see it's on both sides. And this is called your transversus abdominis.